So what's going on toxic gamers you might want to stop rolling your fat doobies around because holy smoke is it ain't no joke is okay so black myth wukong just came out all right and you're not gonna believe what happened if you are aware of the fact that sweet baby ink was asking seven million dollars because they wanted to have political correctness for black myth wukong right they wanted their monkey game looking like this right black myth wukong they wanted the monkey looking like this 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 and this right and right now sweet baby ink is looking Looking like this all right we're gonna talk about why that's the case like the video if you think there are two genders even for the monkeys dislike the video if you think there are five thousand genders because you're not gonna believe what just happened uh oh let's get into it all right and i got a video that i want to share with you now check this out the game just came out right it's looking amazing and it's blowing up right now and sweet baby inc is one of those companies that loves to extort uh, gaming companies right and apparently they were trying to extort Black Myth Wukong dev team and they were asking for 7 million US dollars. You cannot make this up, okay? So they were asking for that and in return they were like, hey, we're gonna guide you guys, we're gonna politically correct your game as well, now I'm saying. Essentially what they wanted is like, the, the, the monkeys looking like this, like they them monkey for example, um, uh, you, you got non-binary, they them Kong, they them myth, they them, yeah, non-binary, non-binary myth uh, right here. So yeah, essentially this is what they wanted. And the Black Myth Wukong devs team, they just said no. We don't want that, okay? We don't want that. And guess what? Fast forward to now, to today, the game just came out. And you want to know how many numbers it's doing? First of all, let me show you this, okay? So 30 minutes after, the homie Dread Roberts uh, tweeted over on Twitter, 30 minutes after, the game hit 500k. Crazy, right? But that's not even it. 656k right after. 765, 900, and 10,000 concurrent players, by the way. These are the people buying the game and currently playing the game, right? 800k right after. 900k, 935k! And that ain't even it! That ain't even it! I got a video that I want to share with you guys. That's not even it. Wario comes out, uh, says a 935k, and uh, this is like number eight all time peak. Guess what? Right after the homie Red Dwagon comes out, says that the game crossed over 1 million. 1 million! You guys crazy! You guys crazy! And it's happening because the game is looking amazing. And ultimately, they just dropped a big F you to Sweet Baby Inc. Because Sweet Baby Inc. wanted their monkey game looking like this, right? They wanted. Uh, and, and they literally said, uh, hey, your game is not diverse enough. And ultimately, this is what they wanted. And, you know, the community has been going crazy right now with the fans art. Uh, this is all AI generated, essentially making a point that this is what Sweet Baby Inc. wanted in the. The, the Black Myth Wukong game and essentially they said no and right now their game is killing it Be because it's looking amazing and because of all this backlash or false backlash and this false outrage that has been on online this game uh, th that all of that has boosted this game like crazy you want to know what happened right after check this one out so currently it has uh so yeah cyberpunk 1 million 54 thousand all-time players guess what it even beat that oh, shit. Oh. yes you're not gonna believe it so the last time i checked it was we're gonna refresh right now uh before i play you a video so last time when i refreshed 16 minutes ago 1.2 million and guess what it was a million 54k for cyberpunk it beat just like that just like that it's insane man and uh, right now the game is not out in the east coast or perhaps it's out but it's 11 56 p.m so it's not 12 a.m eastern on the other hand the acolyte has been canceled after season one on disney plus yeah go figure get woke go broke so this was the pinnacle of woke and this game is the pinnacle of non-woke essentially so yeah it is crazy let's give it a quick little refresh right after uh, we check out this video shout out to the homie dr disaster we're gonna refresh the numbers in a second all right roll it and don't look now but black myth wukong which isn't even officially released yet has already broken records on steam holy crap the game is now available to preload on steam and you know it's no surprise that the amount of people who would be downloading it would be really yeah. large considering it is simultaneously the top seller on Steam right now and the most wishlisted. But it looks like the amount of bandwidth used on Steam to download this game has just broken a record, spiking at one point to a whopping 68 terabytes per second, which is... You know for the fact that this is how apparently Sweet Baby Inc. is looking like right now, you know what I'm saying? And these are our gamers, you know, gamers like shaking right now, gamers loving it, <laughs> gamers loving it, yo, this is crazy. And it even beats Cyberpunk, that is crazy, man.
It's even higher than the Cyberpunk 2077 release. The hype is real, folks. And with this Holy. game set to come out tomorrow, there's only one thing to say. Groovy. You better dance. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> He wanna dance, he wanna dance. Okay, let me actually skip the dancing right there. Not that I don't like the dancing, but he dances every video. Every video, so we're gonna catch that dance in the next video, right? As though Black Myth Wukong has caused a new record to be set on Steam, unless yeah. somehow you're under the impression that this was caused by people rushing out to preload Dustborn, the wokest game ever, onto their computers. I have my doubts, though. Me thinks this is because Wukong is a wildly popular title, especially in Asia, where the Chinese are supporting it as a chunk of their culture and as a... China number one! And, and yeah, so now I, I hope this meme hits different because this is Dustborn that you just saw. And this is the monkey game that just came out! Just came out! Just came. You know what? We're gonna refresh this real quick, okay? Let's see. Holy crap! So oh, it's, shit, it oh, just shit. keeps on climbing. So current players, uh, 24 hour, everything is the same, same because the game is like climbing up. You see the chart, right? It just came out. The game barely came out. It's like an hour and a half old, kind of, right? And it's climbing like crazy, though. It's climbing. We're going to give it a refresh towards the end of the video to see, like, where it's at, too. It's okay? a matter of civic pride. But here in the West, the game has had an upwelling of support ever since the developers told Sweet Baby Inc. to piss off. This yeah. just goes to show how little sway game journalists have over gamers. As you may remember, in the past few days, the embargo on reviews for Black Myth Wukong has been lifted, and the reviews are coming out, and some game journalists out there are trying to claim that Black Myth Wukong isn't diverse enough, and therefore it's a bad game and nobody should play it, but turns out people don't trust games journalists. Yep, we don't trust yep, them, we don't like them, and at this point, whatever the hell they tell us to do, we probably do the opposite. So when they point at a game like Wukong and say that, oh, those guys that made it, they are sexist. The, yeah, the game isn't crazy. diverse enough. Don't buy that game. Well, when they tell us to do that... It's absolutely pathetic. It's a game with animals, and uh, of course, like, there's... Uh, Chinese culture associated with it as well, which I have zero knowledge of, but you know what, like, th this game has so many different diverse animals and humanoid creatures as well, like, this is a monkey man, right, apparently, uh, and, and he can transform into other creatures and animals, maybe even humans, I, I, I guess, as well, he got tigers, he got elephants, he got all different kind of animals, this game is diverse, this game is already crazy diverse, without it needed to be, because it's the real kind of diverse, right? Gamers are not against diversity. Gamers are against the forced BS politically correct type of diversity, okay? And essentially, their problem is that they ended up not getting diversity like this, right? And then you got the homie Tebow. Shout out to the homie Tebow out here using the AI, uh, using, <laughs> using Grok. Uh, and he says that Grok is uh, pretty impressive. Grok is like the thing over on Twitter, right? Bruh. So yeah, this is what they wanted, Wokong. They wanted they them Kong, biopic with Wokong. This is essentially what they wanted. This is how they wanted their monkey to look like crazy. You cannot make this up. It, it might sound like a joke because of course I'm joking around and people are joking around, but this is the reality. This is exactly what they wanted and uh, apparently they, they said no to all that. And Sweet Baby Inc, they were asking for guidance fees, huh? They were like, <laughs> give me those guidance fees, give me that seven million, give me that seven million. These I guess crazy they were really trying to ask uh, sweet uh, i mean black Myth wukong game devs to give them seven million dollars in return of uh, guidance and guidance being changing the character to look like this insanity man insanity we probably will buy the game that is why the benchmark tool for the game has become one of the top most played games in the world on steam it isn't even the full game it's just a tool meant to allow players to test the game yeah. on their pc to ensure that they can run it so 85k for benchmark and currently the game has received an all-time peak of 1260 1 million 260 thousand 505 players that was seven minutes ago right let's actually give it a refresh Let's see, here we go, jumped up to 10,000. Prior to all of this, it was jumping up like crazy, like hundreds of thousands, but now I feel like that it's gonna settle uh, down to somewhere like 1.4, maybe 1.5 million, and maybe tomorrow morning, 2 million. Or maybe it's this is gonna be the highest peak. We'll see, we'll see. And it is one of the top most played titles in the world, reaching a peak concurrent player count of 85,000 players. I yeah. guess there are benefits to simply making a game that kicks ass. And Game Science, the developer of the game, is absolutely reaping those benefits. Tomorrow, I expect that Black Myth Wukong will rocket up the Steam charts. I oh, doubt they're did. gonna topple the king here, Counter-Strike 2 as being the most played game on Steam. That oh, one, as you can- Okay, 1.283, right? Holy. 
Holy crap. It's 1270 right now. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, I, I know he's likely making a video during the day right now. It's like 12.03 a.m. East Coast time, Eastern time, August the 20th. Let me know when you guys are watching this video. So yeah, it's easily number two. Judging based off of the numbers that we just got in now, uh, and looking at uh, CS2, right? It, it's number two right now, easy. But I'm not sure what's the live current uh, player count for CS2. So it might be number one right now, or if it's not already, well, it better be jumping up. That that's that's insane, bro. Holy crap, bro. Holy crap. Can see has 1.2 million concurrent players on there, but who knows? I suspect that Black Myth Wukong will easily hit the top five. In fact, I'd be willing to bet that it hits number two or three. According to the Steam charts here, oh, Black did. Myth has over 600,000 people following the game, so I'm gonna guess that it gets around that many players playing it. I'm gonna guess it hits. He ain't wrong. He ain't, he's not wrong. And CS:GO 2 all-time peak is 1.4 million and apparently it's not that far i i think this game can break records i think it already broke cyberpunk record it broke so many other games record for example like take a look at this right so you got PUBG all-time peak okay so all-time peak is 3 million okay that would be a little bit hard but not impossible paul word to uh, paul world 2 million so it's uh yeah it's uh, uh, it broke cyberpunk oh shit yeah absolutely yeah, right so it can break the record of all-time peak of Dota 2. I think Dota 2 easy. Maybe Lost Ark as well. Easy. Yeah, CSGO 2. Oh my bad. I was mixed mixed up with PUBG. CSGO 2, 1.88 million all-time peak. That it can beat. Maybe when Paul World. Uh PUBG might be a little bit hard though i i have to agree but not impossible we'll we'll we'll, we'll see what happens around 600,000 concurrent players which is mind-bogglingly massive maybe more of these game developers out there should reject the help of sweet baby so Absolutely. they can avoid the fates Absolutely. of titles like capes or suicide squad kill the justice league or flintlock the siege of dawn all of those games have failed absolutely miserably all Damn. of those games explicitly worked with sweet baby inc maybe if more of these game developers in the industry get back to just making fun games then they can start making money as opposed to making budget cuts and firing employees this is like different kind of stupid right so essentially what this uh, chinese game studio uh behind black myth wukong did they didn't even do anything too crazy guys like think about it this for a second they didn't do anything super crazy all they did was use their their brain and just said that nah bro we ain't dumb to give y'all suckers seven million us dollars okay we don't want your guidance y'all suckers can keep your guide guidance to yourselves and shove it that shove that up your ass okay <laughs> that's what they said that's what they did we're not gonna give you seven million dollars because we ain't stupid and we don't need you to tell us how we should make our game it's our game we're gonna make it the way we want to guess what it blew the hell up it blew the hell up like holy crap let's uh, refresh real quick and see so yeah jumped up by 9000 again just one minute ago so this is like the all-time peak and it's not going down because this is like the current uh player count and it, more people are buying 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 and, and i suppose like earlier in the morning when other youtubers are making videos on it and uh you know other people uh, and people start to see it i guess it's gonna snowball even more it already is snowballing you look at the games like suicide squad right like all of these games that has sweet baby ink associated what was that game saints Row. saints row right saints row yeah. they had to shut down their studio man they had to shut down their studio it just goes to show you that's not the way flintlock that dustborn game right which yeah look at that <laughs> <laughs> that Dustborn game. All of these games ultimately flopped. Assassin's Creed Embracing the Woke, although Assassin's Creed is, is a big household name because the prior Assassin's Creed games uh, were actually good. Some of them were in the recent years have been bad too, but I'm, I mean Assassin's Creed is uh, a big household name like Call of Duty. So it would be interesting to see how much Assassin's Creed does because there's a lot of backlash uh, against that too. Star Wars Outlaws, a lot of backlash with that. They recently fired their marketing department because apparently we're hearing the pre-order numbers are bad even for a game like star wars because star wars is massive guys it's a household name it's like up there with call of duty maybe even bigger than call of duty i don't know the numbers i don't have the numbers but you know star wars big call of duty big assassin's creed big right so these are the bigger titles it's gonna be interesting to see how they do it this game guys like it's it's uh it's a game coming from a like not trying to disrespect here respect to the devs out there but i genuinely mean it when i say this people most and, and objectively it's the truth it's not even my opinion most people didn't even know who game science was now they know 
who they are right because of this game that just came out and it's killing it right now shout out to them man shout out to you guys for being here as well check out this video on the screen this recently just happened with ubisoft man it is going crazy right now the drama is crazy uh finally happy to drop some good news for you guys today on the left you got gta 6 highest gameplay leaks as well check out both of these videos and i'll see you right there